When scientists find the bones of a dinosaur, the fossilized skeleton is found in a mixed up puzzle much like this. How would you put this bunch of bones together? When scientists discovered this dinosaur, they named it Stegosaurus, which means roof lizard because of the large plates that covered its back. Since its discovery, the arrangement and function of Stegosaurus's plates have perplexed scientists. Were they flopped outwards? This position may have been best for protecting the animal's upper flanks, but the microscopic structure of the plates indicates that they grew vertically. Most experts think it was more likely that the plates jutted up, not out. But if so, were they in a single row? Or were they paired? Perhaps the pairs alternated like this. A few scientists proposed that the bases of the plates were flexible and that Stegosaurus could even move them. What was the function of the plates? Because they show the presence of blood vessels, some scientists think that Stegosaurus used the plates to regulate its body temperature. Facing into the sun would decrease the warming surface of the plates, cooling Stegosaurus. Wind blowing through the plates may also have cooled the animal. To increase its body temperature, Stegosaurus would stand broadside to the sun, exposing the largest surface area of the plates to the warm sunlight. How did Stegosaurus move? Early theories suggested that Stegosaurus held its legs away from its body and twisted from side to side as it walked, like a modern-day lizard. More recent theories suggest that Stegosaurus held its legs beneath its body and walked on nearly vertical limbs, with head and tail held high. Reconstructing Stegosaurus in this fashion would enable it to move in a shuffling amble, much like a modern-day elephant. Movements of the tail and hind legs were controlled by an enlargement of the spinal cord between the hips. Some scientists look at the tall vertebral spines over the hips and suggest that strong muscles attached there could help Stegosaurus rear back on its tail to browse in the higher branches. If Stegosaurus should meet an enemy, its spike tail had another powerful function, defense. Stegosaurus died over 136 million years ago. Its body decayed away as the sediments were compressed and hardened around the bones and plates. Gradually, soft tissue inside the bone and some of the bone itself also decayed and was replaced by minerals in the groundwater. Buried deep within the ground, the fossilized remains of Stegosaurus were eventually exposed by erosion and discovered by scientists who now try to reconstruct its life. How would you solve this fossil puzzle? <laughs>